Welcome to Honeysuckle Grove Raceway, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's venue for round eight of the Super Late Model Regulation Series. I'm Mikey McBlam, your commentator and driver of the Valvoline Green Machine, starting to feel the pressure here in the closing races as we have lost ground to the points leader after last week's race. It's now 22 points that separate myself and the points leader. Only a difference of four from the week prior, but as we say in motorsports, every point matters as Eddie Crawford the points leader is on point he's going to lead us to the line green flags in the air let's bring the noise here in Honeysuckle Grove First three laps of the race are complete. Oh, big dive bomb move by Jesse right there. He's trying to move his way up through the field. We're going to get to his inside. We've already cracked the top 15, already up to 13th going, oh, thought about going side by side with the 83 of Eric Erickson. The 53 out to a commanding lead already. He's pulled at least, I want to say about a second on second place, whoever that might be. Probably the four of Harry Nelson. He's usually up there running with them. But ladies and gentlemen, we are about to crack the top 10. We had to get on the brakes pretty hard there so we didn't get into the back of Billy Green. Billy Green's having himself a pretty good run up here in the top 10. We're about to catch up to Tommy Bailey for ninth. Ooh, got into that wall just a little bit. Looks like the 53 is already in lap traffic. So I don't know if that'll help us or not. The AI are typically pretty good at getting through lapped cars. We get to the inside of Tommy Bailey. Take over P9. Samantha Bell looking to the inside of Ned Hill. Trying to get herself into P7. Don't know if that'll happen before we're able to get to her. Samantha Bell was involved in that accident last uh, last time around. I keep saying last week. It was actually a couple of weeks ago at this point. Oh, had to get on the brakes for Ned Hill. He's got some lap traffic to contend with. He's looking to go to the outside. Maybe that's the best place to go as we got right into the back of the 09 of Armstrong. That might have screwed up our nose just a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, car still feels fine. Because we're not getting through lap traffic as cleanly as the leader. We're up into P8. Still fighting for P7 now, trying to catch up to Ned Hill. He's about to go three wide inside of the lapped cars. Ooh, don't get into Jesse Wright. We keep it off of him. Oh, Ned Hill goes around in front of us. <laughs> Caution will come out. What what a wreck avoidance right there, because that was right in front of us. But unfortunately, we're going to start on the top lane. Not ideal, because we typically are pretty loose on uh, Colts, on, on uh, restarts. But we're going to do what we can. Green flag's back in the air. 53 is going to lead us to the line. Yep, there it goes. A ch had to chase it up the hill. We fall back to P9. Struggling with a grip a little bit, but I think I can get back down to the bottom as soon as I can. I'm just getting real loose. It takes a little bit for the car to come in. And now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're running fine. 53 had no issues there. Ooh, contact. Through the center of the corner there. We're fighting on the outside of Samantha Bell! Who came up in front of us. I swear she had to come up in front of us. And I just couldn't get off her at that particular point. That's unfortunate. I did not, did not mean to do that. I guess I could have backed out of that a little bit more. I'd have to go back and look at that. But I feel like she came up just a little bit. My nose was already there. We just kind of hooked together, unfortunately. Which, 
obviously in real life that's not really a thing i mean i'd probably hook her into the wall if that were the case but i think they i don't think you know you don't just magnet together like that so it's unfortunate hopefully she recovers to continue to finish in the top 10 as we're chasing down the top five right now Kevin Murphy in front of us 53 still leading this race but he is within our sights he is no longer a straightaway ahead of us he is not getting through lap traffic as good as he was before Ooh, the 94 slid up the hill as we just took Thought we took two spots there, but we did not. The 71 of Brian Ramirez now in the lead. Ooh, got into the back of Crawford. He slid off the corner. Thought about sticking my nose in there again. Couldn't quite get there, though. He maintains that position. But Brian Ramirez has taken over the race lead as we are struggling to deal with lap traffic right now. We get to the inside of the points leader, taking over P3. Now looking to catch up to Harry Nelson and Brian Ramirez to see if we can possibly get up front and lead this race. Ooh. And to the back of Harry Nelson a little bit. We're going to go three wide, split the 35 car in the middle. Devin Reynolds probably didn't want any piece of that. Into the inside of Jessica Robinson. Now hunting down the leader. It's a 1v1 battle. Oh, he slid up the racetrack. Uh, I wasn't close enough to really make a move. Here we go to the inside. Off turn number two, still fighting side by side. He's hanging right there. But we managed to clear him. New leader, the number eight. For how long can we keep that lead? We got to deal with lap traffic here. Almost halfway through this particular race. But the uh, second place car, Brian Ramirez, not letting us get too far at all. He's sticking his nose down there. He's looking for an opportunity. But we're guarding that bottom line pretty good. I'm not sure where the 53 car is. Actually, I do see him back there. Looks like he's running about fourth or fifth. He is, okay, he is currently running. He just made his way into third. Oh, I need to pay attention to where I'm going. That's way more important. My gosh. I almost just absolutely just <laughs> just absolutely destroyed the 03 car there. Wow, I did not expect them to slow up that much, but we've actually managed to pull quite a bit of gap on these guys. Got about a one second lead over Brian Ramirez, but he's now being hunted down by Eddie Crawford. I wouldn't be surprised to see Eddie Crawford get back up here. He's pretty fast. It's the inside of Chuck Diaz. There's Jesse right up ahead of us. I mistakenly, I got him mixed up with uh, Chuck Diaz, but Jesse Wright's in the 55. Got to be careful about hitting those, uh, hitting the side of these cars. We all know that's detrimental. All right, Reynolds. <laughs> I know you didn't like, you didn't probably didn't appreciate being split three wide there, but you know what? You were in the way of the leaders. And Eddie Crawford, as I said, takes over second place, but he's still about a second back. I think we can maintain that. Race just over a halfway over. See how long we can go. Oh, look at them up there, three wide. Pretty sure we got lap traffic among we got lap traffic on top of lap traffic at this particular point. But yeah, as I'm doing the as I'm doing the post commentary for this, just as an FYI, not that anyone would particularly care. Whoa! Another wreck off turn number two. Caution comes out. I'm not even sure who that was. I was getting ready to tell you guys a little. You know what was uh what was going on with the channel and everything and all of a sudden we have a caution but none of that matters green flag is back in the air 53 tried to hang on our door there but he's going to get swallowed up on that outside lane which is really not the place to be especially on restarts the car is just 
The car is just loose, and I, I wonder if the AI also have that issue because the 53 has fallen way back there now. I think he's a, he's he's fallen back to fifth and steadily losing positions. He managed to pull away from these guys. Like I said, the the inside light is the way to go. That is just the way to go. We've got a little bit possibly before we catch up to lap traffic. Just gonna kind of run my line here. Yeah, as I was saying, like, uh, as I'm doing post commentary for this, like, I'm a little bit behind on the videos. There's just been a lot going on in life, you know, so I'm a little bit behind. I meant to get this out to you after Thanksgiving weekend, which I hope everyone had a decent holiday. Got to spend some time with uh, friends and or family or both. And if you didn't have all four days off, you know what? I hope you had some at least, you know, got some time to get some rest because everybody needs that every so often. But yeah, I'm a little bit behind, but uh, I should be able to get caught up before the year is out. Uh, one of these videos might actually come out on Christmas weekend, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what the one is. Whoa, another crash! Jeez Louise, what is going on here? <laughs> cautions breed cautions here at Honeysuckle Grove. I feel bad. I kind of pushed the 09 up into that guy, but uh, here we go. Green flag is back in the air. Again, the 53 trying to hang on, but uh, he manages to get up there every single time. But it's that outside lane. I, I guess I'm not the only one that struggles with it. Yeah, he's, he's getting swallowed up right now. Harry Nelson's currently running P2. We're just running nice smooth lines around here, man. Like, we're doing... We're doing pretty good. Alright, looks like Eddie is settled into fourth place. In front of Ned Hill. He's probably going to be starting to work on Kevin Murphy here in the next couple of laps. Actually, he's already right there. Ooh, got a little bit tight off turn number two that time. Uh, kind of blew the corner there. That's all right. We're keeping it going. 23 laps to go. And you know what? I'm glad we're actually doing longer races, you know. Shout out to the to those that requested we we keep it a 50% race length. I would actually would not mind doing 100% races of these. I mean they are short. You know you're usually done with these in probably what like 100% race is probably what 45 minutes or so. I know. Uh, oh, the squeeze in the middle there. But we made it. Eddie Crawford's already back up to second. No surprise there. We're going to have to run the outside lane for a little while here. As we uh, maneuver our way around lap traffic. That seems to be the safe place to be. Maybe. I don't know. kind of taking our time and moving our way through lap traffic here. I'm pretty sure I was talking about something earlier, but I don't remember what it was, so it's fine. But, um, oh, that's what I was going to say. Like, uh, I know one of the uh, subscribers for the channel, like, he's uh, Mike Turner. He does 100% races for this particular, uh, for this, he's done 100% races for this particular series. So, I want to say, like, they're like, you know, maybe 40 minutes long. Maybe 50. It depends on the trace track, obviously. Eddie Crawford's starting to catch up, I'm noticing here. We start, uh... We start picking our line a little bit better. We start to open up that gap just a little bit more. Keep him at bay. I actually wouldn't mind. I actually really, really enjoyed doing this. It's like that one... There's just that one thing that always kind of bothers me, and that's with that, uh... That side physics as the 03 goes around. Caution will come out once again. I mean, he did a perfect 360. I didn't get a caution for that last time. 
you know you would kind of think like all right he had a perfect 360 he kept it going tracks clear but uh you know it doesn't work like that but you know it's like i said little things green flags back in the air Crawford's trying to hang on the outside this is just going to be more of the same we had the advantage on the inside lane we're going to kind of pull away we're starting to get a little bit tight actually I got 11 laps to go. Here comes Harry Nelson. Kevin Murphy's going to go on by. And then Eddie Crawford's going to tuck in line, probably in fourth place, and then start picking everybody off again. But I don't, don't know if he has the time now. He's actually lost quite a bit of ground to Kevin Murphy, but he should be able to reel him in soon. Ooh, Kevin's defending. Nine laps to go. Ooh, he may not get there. He may not get there. We may run out of time. Eight to go. Ooh, are we gonna catch lap traffic? Kevin Murphy in second. I'm not sure what happened there. I wasn't watching my mirror, but looks like Harry Nelson had uh, had some issues and kind of got hung out to dry there but now Eddie Crawford once again takes over the second spot and we have caught up to lap traffic we gotta stop popping that wall that's not <laughs> that's not helping our, our situation any so all I think I can do now is just really hope that I can avoid a wreck I've done pretty good so far because I kind of have a feeling that these guys are probably going to wreck again. It's been pretty, pretty wreck-filled race so far. I mean, it's a good race, but quite a bit of spins. We've got to be a little bit careful about. Ooh. Get around lap traffic. Get around Armstrong. I noticed they kind of wash up. You see how the one car... The one car, Brett Thompson, kind of washed up a little bit there. I'm noticing that they do that sometimes. They just kind of wash up the racetrack a little bit. Which is natural. That's going to happen. You're going to make some contact. Oh, no. The 25 gets around. Brett Thompson gets into him. Oh, that was Tommy Richardson, I believe. We got damage to this race car now. And now we have a green-white checker situation. Can we hang on for two more laps? Here we go. Green flags back in the air. Eddie Crawford on the outside. Is this going to be more of the same? Eddie Crawford tries to hang tough, but can't really do anything on that outside lane. Cannot make it work. We cannot get this car turned. Here comes Brian Ramirez looking to the inside. White flag in the air. One more time around. Ramirez is there. Oh, he's got there side by side into turns three and four. It's going to be a drag race to the line. Who's going to make it first? Brian Ramirez just edges out this number eight car. I believe he wins his second race of the season. What a finish. <laughs> what a finish. All right, guys. So here are the race results for the super late model series race here at honeysuckle grove brian ramirez wins the race by just just under three hundredths of a second photo finish to the line there was a photo finished in line for second last time around and there was a photo finish to the line for first ah yeah yeah i mean it's great content but you hate to be on the uh, losing end of that. Chase Jones with a solid run finishes third. Eddie Crawford, which a much needed fourth place finish. Well, much needed for me anyway. Ned Hill rounds out the top five. We had Kevin Murphy, Harry Nelson, who was challenging for the lead pretty much all race long. Robbie Collins, Tommy Bailey, and Billy Green round out the top ten. Only nine cars finish on the lead lap. Billy Green being the first car one lap down. Samantha Bell had lots of issues during the race uh, including one incident where she got up into our nose and almost turned herself off of it but uh, she seemed like she was going to recover but yeah just a uh, couple bad spins and unfortunately she finishes outside of the top 10. 
Patrick Barnes, Jessica Robinson in the top 20. Vince Thomas resumes his race in the number 10. Haven't seen him. Uh, I think I've seen him in the past couple of races. And Joey Armstrong is the last car to finish the race. Six laps down. My gosh. <laughs> My gosh. So it looks like 10th through 14th, one lap down. 15th through 16th. Uh, 15th and 16th, I should say. Uh, two laps down, three laps down is 17th on back to 19th. And five laps down, 20, uh, 20th through 23rd. Six laps down, RG Brooks and Joey Armstrong. And here are the point standings after Honeysuckle Grove. Man, it would have been nice to get that extra f five points. <laughs> that extra five points, but... Uh, we have pulled within 14 points of uh, points leader Eddie Crawford. He finished fourth. We finished second. Man, could have been nine points. Could have been nine points. Nine points is a whole lot nicer going into the final two races than 14. Because uh, he's, been, he's been on a tear. It's been hard to get away from him. Uh, he ran second for a lot of this race. We ran first for a lot of this race. But uh, Ramir Ramirez gets his second win of the season. Uh, he is bringing up third. He's only like two points behind us, so we better be careful with Brian Ramirez. We have Harry Nelson in fourth, and rounding out the top five is still Samantha Bell. She's still securely up there over Kevin Murphy, um, but you know, a couple bad races like this one, you know, is not going to bode well for her. Uh, Chase Jones, Ned Hill, like I said, the usual suspects up here in the top ten. Well, there you have it, guys. That was Honeysuckle Grove, Wisconsin. Brian Ramirez is going to walk away with some wine and cheese after that one because, I mean, that was that was a heck of a finish. That was a heck of a finish. Um, car just uh, didn't handle the same way that it had been handling on restarts. Uh, I'm assuming that's just because of the damage that we suffered. Um, unfortunately, not able to dodge that final wreck which unfortunately happened on the last lap. It shouldn't have happened, but it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, you got to, you, you just got to pick yourself up and uh, try to get back at it. The next weekend, we still have quite the points gap. Quite the points gap. 14 points, and we have Walnut Creek and Nashville Fairgrounds coming up. Problem is, the problem has been, if we're out in front Harry, uh, Eddie Crawford is usually second. He is usually second. So it's it's been unfortunate, man. Um, but it's been a heck of a run. It's been a heck of a run. I'm not counting myself out just yet. Um, it's still gonna. I'm still gonna battle all the way to the end. And I just, man, I really wanted that. One. I really wanted that one. I led so much of the race. Um, the track just, it's one of those easy tracks in the game. It's kind of like Slinger. It's one of the easier tracks in the game. The AI don't seem to be as competitive. Um, it was to the point, like, I didn't even run a custom setup. I just ran the default, you know, at 25%. And everything seemed like it was going to go fine. But you never know what's going to happen at the end of the race. They always, as they all, as the old saying goes, it's not over until it's over. And it's not over yet. We still got two races. We're going to do what we can. Try to work our way up there. Try to chip away this this gap. Chip away at this gap and hopefully find ourselves in first place at the end of the Nashville Fairgrounds. Nashville Fairgrounds is one of the harder tracks in the race. So we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, I've seen a couple races at Walnut Creek in Michigan. Um, I'm not sure what the, the, the track is supposed to be emulating. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it looks more like, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what this track's supposed to be emulating. Obviously, it looks like more like the, you know, the mile and a half tracks that, that we typically go to in NASCAR. But no, this is supposed to be like reminiscent of something. So if you know, let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoy these races, be sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Got other racing content going on on the channel. So... Be sure that you don't miss any of that. Leave a like on the video. Support the series. Help this channel get to 300 subs maybe before the end of the year. We'll see. But um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time at Walnut Creek.